Hello, my name is Don Metzger. This video shows how to use an analog device's active learning module, Pluto, system with Quick Systems Quick Transceiver software running on a tablet computer. Here is the setup we will be using. The computer is the lowest end model of a Microsoft Surface Go. This one has a dual core Pentium processor and the typing cover. Current prices are around $500 for this configuration. On the side of the tablet is a USB-C connector. The Pluto is connected to this port using a USB on-the-go cable. USB on-the-go is an extension to USB that allows USB ports to change roles between host and device. The Pluto software stack supports the USB on-the-go functionality. Make sure that your USB cable is an on-the-go version or the Pluto won't power up. I'm using a USB on-the-go Type-C to Type-A cable, and then the cable that came with the Pluto. I have attached the antenna that comes with the Pluto to the receive port. After starting Quick Transceiver, the software requests an activation code. We will cancel and not enter an activation code. That will limit us to only doing spectrum analysis using the Pluto. Later we will show some of the other capabilities that are possible with an activation code. On the main menu, select Windows and then Active Windows. This brings up a dialog that allows us to choose which windows will be displayed. For the case we are doing in this video, we will choose Acquired Waveform, Acquired Spectrum, Acquired Spectrogram, and Acquired Persistent Spectrum. Quick Transceiver works with numerous analog devices eval boards, so we need to tell the application which device we are using and how to communicate with the device. On the main menu, select Instrument and Connection. In the dialog, make sure that ADALM Pluto is selected and IIO over USB as the connection type. Click the Scan button to find the USB descriptor for the Pluto and then hit Apply. On the main menu, choose Instrument and AD936X Control. Pluto has one transmitter channel and one receiver channel, so the channel numbers are ignored for Pluto. Let's receive at 2.417 GHz with 30 dB of gain for the receiver. Set the number of samples to 40,000. At the bottom of the dialog is the baseband configuration. Choose the 40 mega sample per second from the drop-down list. When the instrument settings are complete, press the Apply and Close button. To enable continuous operation, we need to set the repeat type. On the main menu, choose Processing and then Repeat. Make sure that the repeat type is set to continuous. On the main toolbar, make sure that the SPECAN button is selected and click the Start button. The top left plot is a power versus time view of the received data. The bottom left plot is a familiar spectrum analyzer view. In the top right is a spectrogram of the acquired signal, and in the bottom right is a persistent spectrum. You can easily turn these plots on or off. We can see some signals present at 2.417 GHz. This is the 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi band, so some of the signals are due to wireless routers nearby. If we look up the channel frequencies for 802.11g, we find that 2.417 GHz is channel number 2. This is a quick and easy way to see what Wi-Fi bands are in use, and perhaps move our router to an unused channel for less interference. If we tune to 2.452 GHz and set the persistence to infinite, and run for a while, we see much less utilization for channel number 9. Perhaps this would be a good choice for our router. If you want a more mobile version, detach the keyboard cover and use the Microsoft Pen in a tablet mode. This makes a nice handheld spectrum analyzer. Rugged cases are available for the Surface tablet for added protection in this configuration. You can use Quick Transceiver as a spectrum analyzer without having an activation code, as we did here. But having an activation code allows you to use the Pluto as a transmitter or a receiver, or both a transmitter and a receiver at the same time. The base version of the software performs PSK and QAM signal transmission and analysis. Analysis of other signal types like 802.11 or 4G LTE or 5G NR are available as options. 
Quick Transceiver is also usable with numerous other analog devices, chips, and eval boards. Some of those systems provide 100 MHz or 200 MHz of usable bandwidth. That's a lot of usable bandwidth for a very low price. To obtain a copy of Quick Transceiver, visit quicksystems.com and download the application. After installing, you can request an activation code by sending an email to sales at quicksystems.com, or you can use it as a spectrum analyzer for free like we did in this video. Thanks for your time.